morning. Let me welcome once again, with great pleasure, His Excellency President Poroshenko, President of, the, of, of Ukraine. President's, uh, President Poroshenko's visit to Malta is historic. It is the very first ever state visit by a Ukrainian head of state, and it is truly a pleasure to welcome you, President. It is also historical because within a, f a couple of hours, let's say a couple of hours, short time really, a number of agreements, very important agreements, will be signed between Malta and Ukraine, which will definitely um, open up further scope for collaboration. We have had diplomatic relations between our countries since 1992, and we have always had very good relations. But since a few years ago, we have had a number of very high level meetings, which have resulted into a number of uh, fruitful um, uh, decisions, agreements, like the agreements that will be signed today. But besides that, Malta have always stood by um, Ukraine with regards to its sovereignty, to its territorial integrity, and to its also stride endeavors to become further connected with the European Union. And we are truly pleased that it is during the time of Malta's presidency of the European Union that the agreement on visa liberalization will actually be, be signed. That will not only be of benefit to the, to the Ukrainian people for the European Union, but I, we do believe that this visa liberalization will have direct benefits also for future collaboration and partnership between our two countries in terms of trade, in, tra in terms of tourism, in terms of people-to-people -people contact, which we put a lot of importance to that, so as our relations will not just be on government to government, but it will also be a friendship between our peoples who will acknowledge and respect the diversity of our cultures and come further together. We have spoken, President Poroshenko and myself, about the possibility of also bringing further our co business communities um, in, in, uh, in greater um, contact because there are a lot of um, business possibilities be between our countries in terms of even the infrastructure, national infrastructural projects that are happening in Malta and also the private in infrastructural projects that are being contemplated for the, for the uh, near future with regards to the high quality steel that um, you um, has and also with regards to Malta's trans transshipment hub where we consider each other as hubs to markets, Ukrainian on one side, Ukra Ukraine on one side to that part of Eastern part of Europe, but and Malta being very near to the African continent can also be a gateway to, to, uh, to North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa with regards to our trans transshipment hub. Um, so we look forward to a number of, um, a number of uh, potential um, and possibilities to further explore uh, our, our, our potential. Now that we will have a, num these, a number of agreements in place, we do believe that we will have, um, we have opened wide, wide open um, the doors so that not only our governments, but also our business community, our peoples to come in contact with one another. Your Excellency, Malta will continue to support Ukraine and its drive to better connect with the European Union and also with regards to Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. President. Thank you very much indeed, dear Madam President, distinguished audience, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I will start with the thanks that my delegation and me are very much appreciate for the very warm hospitality we feel here in Malta in Valletta, the from the very first moment of our stay here. <laughs> this is extremely important, Maltese role in Ukrainian independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity. 
I want to remind that this was Maltese Minister of Foreign Affairs, at that time Chairman of the General Assembly of uh, United Nations. On the 24th of August, year 1991, first welcome the Ukrainian independence. Malta was one of the first nations who recognized our independence and during all these years strongly supported. We very much appreciated that. Second, I think that Maltese presidency in the European Union was extremely efficient for Ukraine. Ukraine fulfilled the condition for the visa-free, implementing more than 144 reforms and only under the Maltese presidency, European Parliament vote approving the visa-free <coughs> and European Union Council unanimously vote for granting Ukrainian visa-free opportunity for traveling. This is not just a process for crossing the border. This is the historical step when Ukraine returned back, back to Europe. And my 45 million nation strongly support and welcome these efforts of your government, dear Madam President. We also come not with empty hands because less than two months ago when we have a meeting here in Malta with Madam President, I promise her that the, our intergovernmental agreement about avoiding the double taxation, which was a serious obstacle for the uh, investment climate for both nations, we voted and ratified in the parliament. And I'm happy to inform that that's happening. And a lot of the documents which was, would be signed during this visit is extremely important for the relationship between our nation. The relationship between students, youth, cooperation in sports, in business communication. And we agreed with Madam President, and I used this opportunity to invite her to visit Ukraine at, the earliest, at her earliest convenience, and to bring together with her the representative of the Maltese business circle. Extremely efficient, very creative, and I think that the synergy between our businesses, Ukraine and Maltese, would be mutually beneficial. Malta can be a hub for Ukrainian agriculture, for penetrating on the northern Africa. Malta can be a hub for our aviation industry to make here the special center for the Antonov plane. Malta can be a very important point for supplying Ukrainian steel. As Madam President said, and extremely important for the people-to-people -people contact. We agreed that now only 10 Ukrainian students are educated in the Maltese University, but that just, is just advertising about the opportunities and potential we have in the cultural and educational sphere of our cooperation. And I inform Madam President that we Ukrainians are interested in the participation of the program Valletta 2018 as a European capital of culture. And I immediately instruct my Minister of Culture to establish effective cooperation in this very important sphere. But most important thing, I want to thank you, Madam President, thank your government, your minister, for the very strong and reliable position of supporting of our sovereignty, of our territorial integrity, and of our independence. We feel your shoulder, shoulder of our friend and strategic partner. And uh, we very much appreciate your position that the sanction should stay in place until the full implementation of the Minsk agreement. And this is the only mechanism how we can stop the war, how we can organize the condition that Russia withdraw all their troops from Ukrainian territory, withdraw heavy artillery and weapons, release all the hostages, create the condition for the normal functioning of the special monitoring mission of the OSCE, and return back the control, control part of Ukrainian and Russian border, first 
to the OEC inspector and second to Ukrainian authorities. This is extremely important to bring the peace to Ukrainian soil. And we very much appreciate the enormous efforts of our Maltese partners in this very important sphere. Thank you. Nigel Mefsud from Television Malta, uh, President uh, Kolero Prekam, you earlier mentioned um, that Malta and Ukraine need to expand their um, collaboration, not only uh, in diplomacy, but also in trade, for example. In which level have the discussions arrived? Uh, where do we want to go from here? Well, um, the signing of the agreements today will uh, open doors wide open for all for the exploration of all potential between our two countries. So one really would be presumptuous to say right now which areas, although there is a very good idea of what areas for trade and business expansion. But I think um, now that we will have the agreements in place for bilateral consultation, in particular now that we have also the double taxation um, agreement that is also like a visa-free um, situation for businesses, I think we ha will have to uh, let our technical people to work so that we can definitely explore all potential possible between our two countries. I do not think that there is, there is, uh, there is so much that, one, that we can do together. So we shouldn't put, at this point in time, uh, a limit to what areas we can be working on in terms of trade and business. News agency Interfax Ukraine. The question for both presidents. What's co uh, what cooperation do you uh, inspect um, uh, with, with the new uh, French president and new French government, uh, including the uh, security sector? And Mr. Poroshenko, did you already speak with Mr. Macron about the future of Normand format? Thank you. Uh, with your permission, Madam President, I have an opportunity to speak with the Emmanuel Macron, at that time he was uh, not a president. Uh, I think that uh, the voting for the president Macron is the very effective demonstration about the responsible choice of the French people. The attempt for the populist to distribute the Eurosceptics uh, feeling among the French people was not happening, and I'm quite optimistic. The first contact between my team and team of the French president has already happened. My chief foreign policy advisor, Mr. Yeliseev, speaks with the diplomatic, new diplomatic advisor of the President Macron, and we work now for the telephone conversation. But the first signal we received from Paris, from Berlin, is quite promising that the functioning of the Normandy format will remain in place and this is a vitally important for Ukraine question of peace, question of the implementation of the Minsk agreement is in the reliable hands. I hope I have understood your question correctly but I was helped <laughs> through my communication, communications um, coordinator. Well, um, uh, I agree completely with, we agree completely with uh, President Poroshenko in terms of that uh, he, uh, President Macron's um, uh, election was good news to, to Europe and to our family of nations. President Macron is a pro-European Union um, person, so this is really good news uh, because this is uh, another guarantee for European unity. But I think it will be, we have, as Malta, we have always had extremely good relations with, with, with France. We don't see any, any change to that, undoubtedly. Um, but it is still very early for um, uh, President Macron or, uh, or other um, uh, discussions with him at this point in time. We will let him settle down. He has quite a lot on his plate, so we augur him success. Okay. Thank you.